Lord forgive me for this trap shit Sergeant Smack make it backflip Telly Hank did with the action With the vital speaking Spanish Frank Matthews how I vanish Poof Came back like I'm King Tut Gold BBS is on a beamer When Fat Cat was tearing queens up Fall off the prop and not the re -up. Fly like Puerto Rican Jesus Uptown like I'm Baby Main Just caught a touchdown From the Bay Jim, he's described as an alleged murder machine, charged with four shooting deaths, charged with four assaults with intent to kill, charged with one assault with intent to murder. The suspect just 16 years old. About a 16-year-old suspect arrested in connection with four murders in the district. He has a rap sheet that few in law enforcement have ever seen. News Force Pat Collins explains what led up to these crimes and what's behind the violence the teen is accused of committing. He's just 16 years old and he's charged with four murders and a number of attempted murders. Just 16 years old. Police don't see many cases like this. We begin now with Commander Leslie Parsons. Probably the only one that I remember uh, being that young with that many cases. According to court documents, murder suspect Michael Mason just turned 16 last March. You, you have crimes at various locations throughout our city. Uh, no, just no regard for human life whatsoever. Uh, random shootings uh, during the day, at night, uh, children around. Uh, it, it's just extremely disturbing. According to court documents, murder suspect Mason lives in the 300 block of I Street Southeast, a neighborhood of fashionable townhouses close to the Navy Yard. But the violence he's associated with appears to be centered around gang activity in the Benning Terrace neighborhood in far Southeast. The cases he's charged with have a number of scenarios. In April, police say he tried to shoot a man on Alabama Avenue. The man ducked behind a woman, and the woman took the bullet. 21-year-old Bria Moon died later at the hospital. Sources tell News 4 that in 2018, police picked up suspect Mason on a number of gun charges. They say he was held in youth custody until last March. Then he was released because of concerns about the spread of the COVID virus. After his release in April, they say the shooting spree started. I'm Pat Collins, News for Washington. D.C. police tell Pat there's more to be known about the suspect and the shootings he's allegedly involved in. They're asking anyone with information to come forward. News now from the district this evening. D.C. police have announced the arrest of a 16-year-old boy. They tell us he's responsible for the murders of four people over the last two months. News Force Pat Collins has been working to learn more this afternoon. Pat, what are you hearing? Jim, he's described as an alleged murder machine, charged with four shooting deaths, charged with four assaults with intent to kill, charged with one assault with intent to murder. The suspect, just 16 years old, Michael Mason, charged as an adult in a shooting spree that began in April and went through the month of May. April 7th, 21-year-old Bria Moon shot and killed in the 3900 block of Alabama Avenue Southeast. May 19th, the 2400 block of MLK Avenue. 1.30 in the afternoon, three people shot there. Two men found dead at the scene, a wounded woman taken to the hospital. Friday, May 22nd, the 3800 block of East Capitol Street Northeast, another afternoon shooting. 
another young man found dead on the street. This time the victim, 18-year-old Antoine Roach. Police say evidence from all four of these murders led to the arrest of 16-year-old Michael Mason of Southeast. He's been charged as an adult in the case. According to court documents, the suspect is linked to the Avenue faction of Simple City, a group that operates off Alabama Avenue Southeast. Police used cell phone records to track down Mason's movement. And according to court records, one of the female victims was pregnant and didn't want to have the baby with the father. The evidence here in this affidavit, more than 30 pages long, Sources say the violence is a result of fights between gangs operating in and around the southeast section of our city. Now back to you. Yo, yo, we back. It's your boy pop a lot. Mob, mob, mob. We on our way to D.C. with it. The district. Southeast to be exact. Bending Terrace to be more exact. Beat us there, don't meet us there, and you better have your gun with you. Now, today we're going to be covering a topic that seems all too familiar on mob ties. And what I mean by that, a young serial killer, pretty much, um, spree killer. And all of these crimes happen in the span of two months. And that's going to be between April and May of 2020 and the guy that we're going to be covering today is going to be a gentleman by the name of michael mason also known as yg and by all accounts he looks like he is going to be a shooter for the avenue faction of simple city now that might sound confusing the people that's not from dc i'm gonna try my best to break it down now, from my view, Simple City looks like it's a gang slash neighborhood that's associated with Benning Terrace or the Southeast. And they are in a long standing war with another gang of sorts or another neighborhood by the name of 37. You might have heard of 37 if you're familiar with Shy Glizzy and any of his music. I want to say he was 2015 Double XL Freshman of the Year and one of the most popular artist in DC and probably one of the forefathers because if I can remember wasn't too many well-known rappers coming out of DC when him and right around the time Wale Fat Trail could be mentioned um, and I'm sure several others but he is going to be somebody that claimed that neighborhood in his music and according to documents that Trey Seven neighborhood is at war with that simple city neighborhood. Now, a little insight, some people might remember a rapper by the name of Man Man that released a notorious video by the name of The Truth, probably one of the most disrespectful songs in history. According to my research, he was also associated with the Simple City Gang. Now, now that everybody is up to speed on DC politics, we're going to take off where we left off with Michael Mason. And we're going to start on April 7th, 2020. And that's going to be a few weeks after Michael Mason was released from a juvenile facility due to COVID restrictions. And based on my research, they're going to say that Michael Mason, who was 16 years old, had a criminal rap sheet that could have been mistaken for an adult male, but back on Tuesday, April 7th of 2020, at approximately 10.37 p.m., authorities would respond to the 3900 block of Alabama Avenue Southeast for the report of gunshots. Now, shortly after, emergency services was dispatched to the 3900 block of Suitland Road in Suitland, Maryland for the report of a shooting. Now, when officers would arrive, they had located an adult female inside of a vehicle suffering from gunshot wounds. After all life-saving efforts failed, the victim was pronounced dead. Further investigation revealed that the shooting occurred at the 3900 block of Alabama Avenue Southeast 
and the victim would go on to be identified as 21-year-old Bria Moon. Fast forward to Tuesday, May 19th, 2020, at approximately 1.39 p.m., Authorities would arrive at the 2400 block of Martin Luther King Jr. Avenue Southeast for the sound of gunshots and upon arrivals, officers would locate two adult males as well as an adult female suffering from gunshot wounds. EMS would arrive and determine that the two male victims displayed no signs consistent with life. The female victim was transported to a local hospital for treatment for life-threatening injuries and the two males would go on to be identified as 20-year-old Jazel Henderson and 31-year-old Terrence Griffin, both of Southwest DC. Three days later, on May 22nd, at approximately 4.50 p.m., authorities would arrive at the 3800 block of East Capitol Street Northeast. Upon arriving at that location, Authorities would encounter an unconscious adult male suffering from a gunshot wound. Authorities would later pronounce the victim dead and identify him as 18-year-old Antoine Roach of Southwest DC. It wouldn't be long before authorities would nab Mason for those four murders as well as a series of other shootings and the homicide of Bria Moore during interrogation. Mason would blame the driver of a Honda Cross Tour that he was in and he would claim that the driver would go on to shoot inside that vehicle that Bria Moon was in killing her. He would also say that he didn't even know that there was a female in the car that they shot at, but he would admit that the murder was supposed to be somebody else that was in the car that had been causing issues in his neighborhood. Now, despite his explanation, investigators who found four shell casings in the street say that the shells would have fallen inside of the car if the driver had reached over to shoot through the passenger side window where Mason was. There's very few details about the May 19th double homicide that authorities alleged that Mason was involved with, but they did say that the motive for Antoine Roach's killing is that he was blamed for a 2019 shooting of a simple city member and Roach and Mason had previously met inside of the juvenile detention center. So they also had a past history. Now, Mason was also linked to a lot of the crimes by cell phone data, as well as a 40 caliber gun that detectives claim that he tried to sell on Instagram after the homicide. So this shit is just crazy and wicked. Y'all make sure y'all follow me on Instagram, on Twitter, P-O-P underscore A underscore L-O-T. Y'all hit the bell right under this video so y'all know when this real trail spill shit is dropping. And y'all get in the comment box below and let me know who we need to cover, what cities we haven't been to, what we missed. And y'all tweet me, at me, mention me, tag me, call me, CC me, email me, text me. However y'all want to handle it, I'm here for all of it. It's your boy Pop-A-Lot. Mob, mob, mob.